Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 Mods Weekly, the show where we take a look at some of the really cool and interesting mods that have come out during the week. And this week we've got five brand new mods ranging from your classic lore friendly style mods to some more modern and tactical ones, as well as everything in between. We've also got a wide variety of mod types like weapons, armors, retextures, and even a couple of other more interesting mods. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in with the first one. And that's going to be the classic Deathclaws Redux mod by Jagged Josh. Now, this mod is going to remesh the Deathclaws in Fallout 4 to look a bit more like their New Vegas and Fallout 3 counterparts. When Fallout 4 came out, they completely redid the design of the Deathclaw, and not everybody was a huge fan. Don't get me wrong, I do like the way that the Fallout 4 Deathclaw looks, but it just isn't the same as the classic counterpart, and this mod is going to get you a little bit closer to that feel. It's going to elongate the bottom jaw and give it more of a classic shape. It's going to bring the horns down a little bit and make them longer as well, and it's definitely going to extend the claws to be much more like the Deathclaws from the past games. It's a Deathclaw for God's sake, it needs to have a long killing claw, and the ones in Fallout 4 just didn't really fit that aesthetic. Now, this isn't going to be an exact recreation of the classic Deathclaws, but rather a mix between Fallout 4 style and the classic style, which I quite like. It still has the nice beefiness of the killing machines in Fallout 4, but it has some of the really distinct features from Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. But it still uses all of the same textures in the vanilla game or any retextures that you have installed, since again, this is just a remesh. That being said, there are some retextures you can download to make these things even more like the classic Fallout Deathclaws. The mod page recommends picking up De Polari's retexture of the Death Claws, and I have to say I highly agree, as the standard Death Claws with this retexture look just like the classic ones with a nice tan skin and very, very small scales compared to the ones in Fallout 4. These two mods combined make for a really cool and classic feel. If you're running something like the Desperados overhaul as well, this Deathclaw fits right at home and it almost starts to feel a bit like New Vegas, which I personally really like. Regardless of what you think of the Fallout 4 Deathclaws, I'd highly recommend checking this one out to add some new variety and spice to them to make them look a little bit different and a little bit more like their classic counterparts. Honestly, I think this remesh is really, really nice, and it's cool to see a nice redux of the older mod. Good job, Jagged Josh. Can't wait to see what you do next. For our next mod, we're checking out the Trepang style night vision mod by Ethnet. This is going to add three new sets of night vision goggles into the game that you can equip to your character, settlers, or just about anybody else. And they're really neat because they feature some glowing lenses. Now, actual night vision sets don't really do this, at least not on the outside, but this was inspired by the Trepang video game, which has this really interesting feature. It realistically would provide no benefit to the user to have your night vision goggles glow, but it does actually add a really nice aesthetic, and I have to agree with the author here, I think it looks really, really cool, and you can make some super neat outfits with this mod. Now, none of these new goggles are added to the level list. Instead, you'll have to go pick them up over at the National Guard Armory. When you head inside up to the second floor, you will find a newly added duffel bag that will contain three of each of the different night vision goggle sets. There is one with a single lens, one with two lenses, and another with four lenses. Now, sadly, as it is right now, the mod does not actually have built-in night vision with these goggles, so they don't actually do anything for your character other than aesthetics. So, this is purely visual. But when it comes to visuals, you can do a lot of cool stuff. First of all, like I said, they do automatically glow in the dark, and by default, they are going to glow white. But if you take these things over to an armor workbench, you can actually change out the colors. And there's a handful of colors, including red, green, blue, orange, yellow, purple, etc. You can really customize these things to go with whatever outfit you're wearing. Not to mention, you can pick from the three different goggle options to whichever one looks the best. Personally, I really like the single lens. I think it looks super cool, super sci-fi, and it just fits with a lot of outfits really, really well in my opinion. As it stands, this is a pretty simple mod, but I can definitely see people adding patches for support from other night vision mods to give it that actual functionality of night vision goggles, as well as adding this thing to the leveled list for more modern tactical load order so you can actually find these things on enemies rather than just having the one set spawn with a limited number of sets of these goggles. I would really, really like to see these things on the level list for sure, because seeing these in the night, just glowing pairs of eyes running at you, especially if you have something like Darker Nights on, would be absolutely terrifying, and I think it would really add a lot to the feel of the game. Regardless, these are some really cool additions and accessories to your character, so if you want to try this one out, it'll be linked down in the description below, along with every other mod in this video. Up next, we have a little bit of a faction overhaul known as the Customized Rogue Soldier Rust Devils Edition by Kasern X. 
Now, this is going to add the customized Rogue Mercenary Armor from my cart, but it's specifically going to add them to the Rust Devil leveled list. Now, this is a pretty modern, tactical, and even a bit more sci-fi armor set that doesn't really fit super well in Fallout 4. But I do like this mod for one very particular reason. If you're running a modern tactical load order and you're going to be replacing the armors for all of the factions, raiders, gunners, etc., I think this is a perfect mod for the Rust Devils. If you're trying to make everybody look tactical wearing actual modern military gear and the Rust Devils' entire theme is that they're really into robotics, I think this outfit works really well. It has a nice modern tactical military feel, but it has some of those sci fi elements and those robotic parts, especially in some of those helmets that really make them feel different from the rest of the enemies in the game. So if you're running a tactical load order, download this mod to make your Rust Devil stand out as a unique faction with some really cool gear that's worth hunting down. Now the Rust Devil edition of this mod is just going to add it to the level list. You're still going to have to download the original customized Rogue Mercenary mod as well, but we'll go ahead and talk about what's offered in that armor pack as well since I never actually covered it and it's a bit older. This is going to add a brand new armor set. It's only one armor set itself, but there are a ton of accessories like gloves and different pouches that you can add on and a handful of helmets and hats that you can throw on as well. And all of these have customization over at the armor's bench where you can throw on different linings as well as ballistic weave. And there's even a handful of skins that you can put on the entire armor to make it have different color schemes. And all of these unique features are available in the Rust Devil version as well, and they will spawn on the Rust Devils as such. So you'll find them with different camo patterns, different helmets, every Rust Devil should look different from the last one, which is really, really cool. And I think it makes them a really cool, unique faction. I do like their vanilla armor set, but if you're running a different kind of load order, I think this is a pretty good fit. Now, up next, we have a pretty minor retexture mod known as the Real Brands Pack by Smiley Hatman PL. And this is going to retexture a handful of the items in the vanilla game with some real life brands. Now, there's been a handful of mods that have done this before, but I like this one because not only does it retexture the items, but it also renames them in game. So, for example, Deezer's Lemonade has been changed into Coca Cola. So now it is a literal can of Coca Cola, not only in the visuals, but even when you pick up the item, it says Coca Cola. So you don't have to worry about weird cross-referencing where you pick up a can of lemonade that just happens to look like Coke. And this is true for all of the items in this mod. Now, this is the all-in-one pack of Smiley Hatman's mods. He actually has all of these as individual mods, but this is going to contain all of those textures. And if you were to download this mod right now, it will include the Abraxo retexture to the Ariel. We have the Antifreeze to Castrol. The beer and beer junk bottles to Heineken. Blast Radius will be converted to the Monopoly Fallout Edition. Gumdrops will be changed to Orbit and Deezer's Lemonade will be changed to Coke. And as of right now, that's all that's available. There are definitely mods out there that cover all of the items in the game. And this one only has a few, but he does say that he's going to continue retexturing and changing our items and adding to this all in one pack over time. So this is definitely one that's worth keeping an eye on if you're trying to make a more realistic version of Fallout with real world items instead of the Fallout universe. Definitely a cool little retexture mod, and I do appreciate going through the effort of actually renaming all the items. Pretty cool stuff and good work. And now for our final mod this week, we have the Makeshift Air Dart Rifle, a lethal syringe alternative by SPNCRYN. This is going to add a new air-powered dart rifle into the game that's going to look an awful lot like the Syringer, but this weapon is its own thing. Rather than firing syringes that all have different effects, this is going to fire heavy metal darts that will just be purely ballistic damage. And you can modify this thing to do a lot of different stuff over at the weapons workbench. For starters, there are a handful of different ammo types you can craft, all of which will just be heavier versions of darts that will cost more and more materials, but they're going to do more and more damage. So it is definitely worth upgrading that and getting those newly added ammo types. Additionally, you can craft this weapon over at the chemistry station along with all of its added ammo types. Once you're done with that, take it over to the weapons workbench where you will find a ton of cool modifications, including the ability to throw on different types of pneumatic devices, as well as a gauss barrel to make this fling those heavy darts even faster at an incredible range and an incredible speed. On top of that, this has a handful of optics that are all really, really neat, including some different thermal scopes and even the addition of my laser sight from the handmade lever action. So you do have some cool laser aiming functionality with this weapon. 
Additionally, you can modify this thing to be semi-automatic rather than having to reload after every single shot. Now you'll be able to fire off darts at a pretty rapid pace, making this an even better weapon than the vanilla syringer. Definitely worth picking this one up if you want to play sort of a tinkerer character who likes to make weapons at the chemistry station. Having the ability to craft ammo at a whim made out of just basic steel or even upgrading to some heavier ammo types if you so please is a really nice option, especially in a survival playthrough. That way you don't have to worry about running out of ammo. Altogether, this makes for a really cool, lore-friendly makeshift weapon, and if anybody's looking for something like that, I'd highly recommend this one. With that though, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the mods and found at least one that you want to add to your load order. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a rating. Consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos just like this. Big shout out to all of my patrons for supporting every single video and a special thank you to YouthRC, Helljumper2077, Jackie Noid, Indecisive Wolf, Feed, and Captain Chaos. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for that tier 3 Patreon membership. If you want to check out Patreon, it will be linked down in the description below, but it is completely optional. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace!